Hello everyone, welcome to Organ Analysis. So welcome to another video of the name reaction series. Now we are back with the uh, our cross coupling base reaction. Now in this video we are going to discuss the Shonogashira cross coupling reaction, and it is also important uh, as we have seen earlier that the Hick coupling reaction, Nagishi coupling reaction, or Suzuki coupling reaction, it is similar like that, that kind of cross coupling based reaction, but they are using the different coupling partner in this uh, cross coupling reaction. So in the year of 1975, the uh, Shonogashira and its co, his co-workers have reported that the uh, symmetrically substituted alkynes can be uh, can be used in the cross coupling based reaction along with the allyl halide or alkyl halide like those all those things as you can see over here the basic things of this reaction is the an uh, alkyl uh, halides and along with this uh, is your coupling partner it can be your terminal alkyne basically so it can be used in this uh, coupling it can be used as a coupling partner in this sonogoshira cross coupling reaction and they have used uh, they had used this one as a coupling partner along with this and the reagent is uh, quite no uh, known to us because we have already discussed the hex suzuki this kind of cross coupling reactions and we are using this palladium zero catalyst or palladium two pre catalyst as and we can use we can use a kind of ligand and this is an important step uh, in this uh, Shonogoshira cross coupling is the copper one. Now this uh, copper one has major role in this reaction and we have to use the base and solvent all those things like that. Now from by using these two and with the palladium catalyst we are getting this couple product. So this is our couple product for this uh, Shonogoshira cross coupling reactions. Now let's see first the R1 which is used over here the R1 is basically your maybe your aryl it can be your alkanyl or any kinds of heteroaryl groups or an X we know what we are what we are using this X is basically kind of leaving group it can be a Cl Br I OTF like all those things and the reactivity we know that the reactivity is basically depends on this leaving group ability is that the iodine is first and then it is quite equal equivalent to this OTF group and then BR and finally the less reactive CL okay so this is the uh, first part and the second coupling partner at, as we are using here over here then terminal alkyne and the R2 it R2 can be your uh, hydrogen it may be your alkyl or it may be your aryl like all those things or it can be used in one thing that is the trimethyl silyl group can also be used it can it can be generalized in this way that is sir3 so r group can vary in this case so this silicon uh, compound can also be used uh, in the place of r2 and from here we are getting this product let's see the mechanism which is quite important now the mechanism is quite expected as we have already seen the uh, Suzuki and Heck coupling reaction or Nagishi coupling reaction. The first and generalized and basic things of this reaction is the oxidative addition and uh, all those uh, trans, uh, reductive elimination and all those things. But here we are using this copper salt. Uh, in the Nagishi reaction we are using the zinc salt uh, to use the transmetallation to use the transmetallation of different uh, things. So that is uh, what it can use over here the Shonogashira cross coupling here we are using the copper salt as it uh, to use the transmetallation step now why this copper salt is used we are uh, going to see when we are discussing the mechanism the mechanism of this cross coupling is first we know that the uh, we are using the palladium 0 or palladium 2 pre catalyst so we have to start with this palladium 2 or it can be a palladium Zero is your pre as a pre catalyst. So this is your pre catalyst. So this is your pre catalyst. Now from here we have to generate this ln pd zero. Now it can undergo the oxidative addition. So we are using this R1x as the this is your oxidative addition step. We are using the R1x. Now this ln Palladium is now palladium 0 to palladium 2 oxidation state rate increases and this is R1 and X. Now the transmetallation step is happening over here that 
we are using the copper salt so this uh, copper salt along with the base now we, are, we have to know the base what kind of base we are using over here the base which is used uh, is basically in 83 NH sorry 82 NH uh, 83 N or in some cases the 80 OAC like all those things this kinds of base are used and the copper salt which is used is basically copper 1 so a copper 1 salt can be your CUBR or in some cases uh, CUI this kind of this kind of uh, a copper salt can be used in this reaction so we are first using this uh, copper salt to transmetal it with this uh, uh, alkanyl partner so this alkyne partner we are using over here so this is your R2 and the base which we are using over here that this one so be this base can take a proton from here and it gets transmetalated with this copper or uh, like this okay so now you are getting a copper salt which can it can generalize from here to here so this is your transmetallization step and the basic things over here sorry here is the uh, that we are using the any amine salt amine base plus plus h into h plus as we can as we are using over here this is x minus and the you can get over you can get this from here actually from here we can get actually this one to that one plus that we are using if we are using an et 3 n so this is your et 3 n h plus along with this x minus now this x minus is now coupled with this copper and it can remove and it can regenerate like all those things so this is your transmetallation step so this is your transmetallation step so from here after this transmetallation uh, we know that this x will leave from the system with the copper and this bond is connected with this palladium right now so this is how we get from here C and R2 and the LN we have and this is in oxidation state 2 so this is your uh, this is the product after the transmetallation step now there is we know that this is in cyst in nature so we have to uh, do the to do this reductive elimination we have to check these two group has to be in cyst in nature so they are cyst to each other so this is elimination so this is first from here we can get this one because it is now uh, getting this palladium zero so we can derive from here this is r1 and these two can remove in this way c double bond c c zero r2 like this okay so this is your reductive elimination elimination right now from here we can get this palladium zero and this is your copper product has a major amount now this base which we are using over here the ct3n it may reduce palladium 2 also so it can reduce this palladium 2 to palladium zero uh, let's see how it, it can uh, reduce it and bt3n is getting oxidized in the medium at the same time now let's see first that what happens when using when you are using this bt3n as a base so this we are using this palladium 2 we can take it as a you can, if we are using this palladium cl2 in the medium and along with this et 3 n so that we can get uh, this n et 2 we have this two hydrogen over here and it can bond it with this palladium cl2 right this okay so now this hydrogen can attack over here and these bonds can go uh, like this way so that you can you will get this one double bond in it two it is in plus and now this palladium is h and here is cl one cl is leave from the system so we can write a this to cl and this can leave from the system in this way so finally this group will leave from the system and if it is leave from the system it it is leave from the system in this way that is n it two and this is in positive and we have this palladium h cl now this is in oxidation state of 2 and finally this hcl will leave from the system as a reductive elimination so it is your also reductive elimination step elimination step so that you can get this hcl over here plus with the palladium zero 
So this thing can also be happen in this Honogoshira cross coupling based reaction. Let's see some examples and this why this type of uh, triple bond compound is uh, used as the alkyl alkene partner because as we have seen all, uh, earlier that we are using this sp2 carbon and sp2 carbon bond sp2 and sp carbon on bond but in this case we have, we can able to do this sp2 carbon along with this sp carbon bond formation so this is why this sonogashira cross coupling is needed and in the examination you can easily uh, identify this which reaction is what by, by using by checking this uh, uh, alkyl partner of this um, uh, this kind of thing and or this reagents you can easily identify this is this reaction is Konogashira or not right so let's see some examples that are very important to regarding to this reaction and you can see over here that we uh, there is given this uh, iodoamine over here and this is your alkene uh, partner uh, along with this palladium and Cl2 and this copper one is given to you so this first palladium is attached with this uh, First step is the oxidative addition, so palladium is attached with this uh, iodine center. So we know that after this uh, transmetallization step and the reductive elimination step, these two bonds are connected to each other, basically these two bonds. So we are getting this final product from here, just like this, okay. See, as I am said, so this here yeah, we are getting as a major amount from this reaction. Similarly, if we have uh, this group that is a uh, uh, dichloroid heat. So if we have like this, so you are given the first step that is a palladium 1 and CuBrBuH2. So this is your base and you have the copper salt and you can see over here the palladium is given and the tri triple bonding bonded compound is also given as a alkene as a coupling partner. So you know it, it is easily be predicted that this can form a bond like this OTHP. So you have to know this, you, do you know this word OTHP is what? So OTHP is a tetrahydropyran. So this is like this. So this is your THP group. Tetrahydropyran. So pyran which is hydrated one because these two bonds are, if these two bonds are substituted, that is called the hydrated pyran. So this is tetrahydropyran. So first we are using this, uh, we are getting this one. Now after that you have given the another equivalent of this group. Now this you have already seen over here, this similar kind of group is using over here. So this palladium is given, copper and base is also given. So you know what will be the product. So this part will remain intact. And finally we can get this C triple bond C and SIMH3 write all those things so this is your major product from this Shunogoshira cross coupling reaction let's see another example that we have is this one so similar mechanism is also followed over here this palladium is attached with this iodine first and after this transmetallation these uh, two bonds actually uh, it, uh, this bond this hydrogen is really removed and this copper is placed over here and after this transmetallation and all those things and reductive elimination you will get the final product uh, that is this bond and these two carbon are bonded to each other so that you can get this is as a major product so see how simple the question was and how we can easily uh, we can easily predict the, what will be the product so this is a quite important and this of this Shonogashira cross coupling reaction let's see another example and the last example of this Shonogashira cross coupling reaction is that it and, and uh, among this all these uh, examples this is and quite important because it depends on the reducial activity of this uh, Shonogashira cross coupling because if you can see over here this two br is given to you and this is given to you as a one equivalent so if it is given in one equivalent then, then which br will substitute it and where this coupling will be to place so see, you can you can easily be predicted that the br which is attached to the nitrogen it is more activated so these two bonds are connected to each other and finally we'll get and this uh, copper and base is also given to you so this is simple shunogashira cross coupling reaction but this question is depends upon the reduced selectivity of this reaction right so this is what you get and if it is used in another equivalent of this group or any kinds of uh, alkene group so you can easily predict it that this br will also remove from the system and you will get another coupling product over here so this is used as a major product from this reaction so i hope i covered all those topics related to this uh, shonogoshira cross coupling reaction 
and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to answer all those questions right so if you like this video press the like button and if you haven't subscribed this channel please uh, make sure that you subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the earlier notification right so that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching